Now let's say we measure the temperature of a system by using uh, two thermometers and we have a reading of uh, thermometric parameter value uh, for, from A, thermometer A and thermometer B. Uh, so if we have two readings from two different thermometers and they both give uh, theta A is equal to uh, theta B. That means uh, these two thermometers will be A and B will be in thermal equilibrium. So basically this thermometric parameter reading tells us that there will be or whether or not there will be a, therm a therm thermal equilibrium. So when brought into um, thermal contact. We can also say that uh, for two systems uh, A and B we have uh, a reading of the temperature by looking at the thermometric parameter of a thermometer. So for system A we read theta A, for system B we read theta B, and if these two parameter readings are the same, then these two systems A and B will be in thermal equilibrium when brought into thermal contact. Um, so the, this reading that we obtain uh, from uh, this measurement when the thermometer M gives us a reading basically it comes to thermal equilibrium uh, with the system whose temperature we're trying to uh, detect with uh, system A The value of the theta para parameter, the thermometric parameter that we read from the thermometer is called the temperature of A, of the system A, with respect to the particular thermometric parameter that we're using par particular thermometric parameter theta of the thermometer M. So this is a reading of temperature with respect to a particular uh, thermometric parameter of the thermometer M. And basically this reading tells us uh, two systems uh, will remain in equilibrium when placed in thermal contact with each other so for the following condition if and only if they have the same temperature with respect to the same thermometer. So the temperature measured with respect to a thermometric parameter 
of a particular thermometer M should be giving exactly the same reading for the two systems under consideration. Uh, if the reading is the same, then we can conclude that they will remain in equilibrium. Now, what is special about this beta parameter, um, if the thermometric parameter theta is chosen as beta. So that means we should know how beta varies with theta, the thermometric parameter. So this is uh, very well known. Then by definition, since uh, beta is uh, measuring uh, the derivative of natural logarithm of number of accessible states with respect to energy, which is a measure of a fractional increase in number of accessible states with energy. then we're going to have at thermal equilibrium the beta reading will be beta a and beta prime reading will be equal to beta a using some other uh, thermometer M prime. So basically this reading uh, of beta is independent of the thermometer if the thermometric parameter that we choose is beta. Why is that so? Because uh, it's giving us a measure of a fundamental property of the system. So if the parameter beta is used as the thermometric parameter of a thermometer then every such thermometer will yield the same reading yields the same temperature when we try to use this thermometer to measure the temperature of a particular system. And the reason why this happens is furthermore this temperature that we are reading, it's going to be the absolute temperature, measures a fundamental property of the number of states accessible states of the system under test. So the best thermometric parameter 
uh, what we can use is beta that means you need to know how exactly the thermometric parameter of your thermometer uh, varies with beta or beta varies as a function of theta of your thermometer and then uh, we have a reading of the absolute temperature uh, which is k times beta to the power minus one this is the absolute temperature because independent of what thermometer we use if the thermometric parameter is beta we are going to be measuring exactly the same um, temperature because it's a fundamental property of the system under test so when we have a reading of a temperature by using a particular thermometer there is a thermometric parameter theta of that thermometer we talked about examples for example it could be resistance it could be magnetic susceptibility it could be pressure volume of a gas or height of the mercury column etc and the reading we have is called the temperature with respect to that particular thermometric parameter of the thermometer if the two readings uh, of systems a and b are the same from the same thermometer uh, basically we can conclude that the two systems will re remain in equilibrium when placed in thermal contact because they gave the same thermometric parameter reading using the same thermometer if we choose this thermometric parameter to be beta beta is a fundamental uh, property of the number of accessible states it gives us a measure of fractional increase in number of accessible states with term with energy at thermal equilibrium so if you have a beta measurement and beta measurements using two different thermometers will be the same because beta is a fundamental property and the absolute temperature is k beta to minus one 